Welcome everyone to our Heart of Christmas event. I'm sure you'll agree that there are lots and lots of trimmings around Christmas, but we want to bring you the heart of Christmas, which is Jesus Christ. Because Christmas 
didn't begin in Bethlehem all those years ago, but it began in eternity past in God's heart of love for mankind. And this is the reason that he sent Jesus. He said he'll call his name Emmanuel, which means God with us. Isn't that amazing that God was willing to come down to this world with all its darkness, with all its sin, because he loves us. Have you noticed how loads of the Christmas cards, most of the Christmas cards in the shops now, don't seem to represent the true meaning of Christmas? We seem to have lost it in so many ways. And inspired by that thought, and really that sadness, I wrote this poem. It's called Christmas All Wrapped Up. But actually, I'd like to give it a little subtitle called The Heart of Christmas because that's what these words are really about. I'm not gonna explain it anymore. I'm gonna let the poem do the talking. So have a, a listen to some of the sentiment in this. There is an ancient story, unboxed this time of year. We wheel it out each Christmas with the tinsel and the beer. A man, a girl, a baby. A barn, some sheep and beast, an evil king, some shepherds, and three wise men from the east. Year on year we're fed it, drearily it's told. There is no special magic as we hear the plot unfold. From childhood's early memories to hmm, just a year ago, it's word for word repeated, solemn and rather slow. Hmm. Indifference and tradition have worked in hand with time to undertake the dealing of a subtle kind of crime. They've stolen all the meaning from the tale of Jesus' birth, and they've drained it of its wonder, and they've stripped it of its worth. And yes, familiarity has played its part as well in sifting out the power from the story that we tell. We've heard each verse so many times. We've ceased to be impressed by how God sent his son to earth and how the world was blessed. Not only are we immunized to each amazing fact and really seldom awestruck by God's mighty selfless act, we've also buried Christmas in its truest birthday sense beneath the decorations and a month of great expense. There's baubles, trees and candles, and lights of every sort. There's pudding, cake and chocolates, all begging to be bought. There's penguins, snow and glitter, Santa and his elves. There's Christmas gifts for everyone, just spilling off the shelves. There's our packaging and paper, expensive fancy tags. There's gold and silver wrapping, a vast array of bags. There's bows and bells and a ribbon. There's every size of box. Uh, yeah, there's a way to gift wrap everything from champagne flutes to socks. But we have gift wrapped Christmas like parcels round the tree in dazzling shiny paper so people cannot see what's hidden on the inside of the present lying there. And really, it's a precious, timeless gift for all to share. So let's unpackage Christmas. Let's peel those layers back. Let's ditch the pagan trimmings 
and dispense with Santa's sack. Let's lay aside the crackers and shovel through the snow. Because at the heart of Christmas, there's a truth the world should know. The Jesus that was born that night grew way beyond the story. A child, a man, a sacrifice who now resides in glory. He did this to redeem us by paying sin's high price. Yes, awe-inspiring love has paved our way to paradise. But there is something in return that God wants us to give. It won't cost you a penny, but it will change how you live. He doesn't just want thank you and a nod when we remember. He wants your love, your heart, your life from now till next December. So, how would we do Christmas if God himself came down? Do you think he'd dress as Santa? <laughs> Switch the lights on in your town. This year, let's go much deeper. Let's exercise our choice. Let's reinstate the Christmas in which God has got a voice. Christmas is just round the corner. Have you been wondering how you're going to get through Christmas without nativities, carol concerts, church services, Chris Dingle? Well, we have an answer for you. We have put together a wonderful online show performance, The Heart of Christmas. It's going to be a great time shared together of music, poetry, Bible readings. There's going to be some wonderful Christmas songs that you'll know and love and some new music too. It's going to be a great time together. We'd love you to join us. So we'll hopefully see you there for the heart of Christmas. <laughs>